and a hard-boiled egg. Well, she wasn't very pretty, yet she acted kind of shitty, so I hit her in the titty with a hard-boiled egg. <laughs> Here he comes, folks, live from Axel's Whiskey Shack. Let's hear it for Axel this side! <laughs> Pull the muscle. <laughs> oh, well, mate. All right, let's start the show. One blow on this whistle and we shall begin. <whistles> naughty, naughty pub show time! <laughs> All children must be accompanied by an adulterer. <laughs> uh, that's how naughty that's going to be. Why don't we open up with a nautical greeting? Ahoy! Ahoy! Welcome aboard, lords and ladies. Time to set sail for naughtiness with your old buddy Axel the Sot at the helm. Quick question before we begin. How many people have ever seen my show in the years past? Anybody? Bloody hell. And you came back. Yes. For the shot glasses, you bastard. I know, I know. Well, then you know what to expect. Those of you not seen the show before, those of you with small children, be aware this is indeed and in fact an adult pub show. This particular show has a rating of, let's all say it together, as if we were pirates. Ah, which means really, really naughty. Now, the last thing I want to do is offend the wrong people. So if you happen to like Matura Entertainment, stick around. We'll have a good time. If you are particularly sensitive to adult subject matter, I would kindly ask that you piss off. <laughs> At this time, that's right. Better to be pissed off than pissed off. Well, some people would disagree. <laughs> I know, lords and ladies, as you can probably tell, I'm, I'm a little out of it today. I'm acting a little stranger if you see me. You know, I, 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 I'm hemming and hawing a lot. Something happened to me uh, the other night and it just messed with my head. And why don't I just talk about it, right? Yes. So they get it out in the open and we can just get on with the rest of the show, right? This happened to me the other night. I walked into a room full of people masturbating. I know, they really freaked out when I wouldn't stop, you know? <laughs> Scarred me for life. <laughs> But this show is going to have so much fun in it, it, it it'll start at any moment. It, the fun will begin. Why don't we open up with a toast, right? That's the best way to start. And to do a toast properly, we raise our months up high into the air. Be they real? Be they fictional? Yep. Who forgot? Wait for it. You... <laughs> All right, ready? A toast! A toast! Two chicken pot pie! Two chicken pot pie! My three favorite things. <laughs> It's all right, I got a prescription. As I'm getting older, I got a prescription for a lot of things these days, even things that I don't need. Things like, uh, what do they call it, Viagra. Really? Who's, got, who's got some, who's holding? Who's got some Viagra? <laughs> I just I kind of ran out. Now, but I don't understand Viagra. I, don't, I just don't understand Viagra. It's like, I like to eat pie, but I don't want to do it for four and a half hours. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And the only reason I even mention it is because over the winter I've got a pet. A new pet, a lovely pet, little parrot. Beautiful thing he is. Sits right there on my shoulder, I'll feed him, feed him biscuits. But he act, my parrot the other night accidentally ate one of my Viagra pills. <laughs> I know, I know, I, was, I didn't know what to do. He was acting crazy, so I decided to, you know, stick him in the freezer to, to cool him down, right? Put him in the freezer, and I left him there for a little while. I checked on him later, opened up the freezer door, and he's in there, he's sweating. I said, why are you sweating? He said, do you know how hard it is to pry apart the legs of a frozen chicken? <laughs> Sadly, I did. <laughs> it was a long winter. <laughs> and cold. <laughs> Talk about being in the pool. I was in the chicken. <laughs> I know, stick to the script. All right, one more toast and we're going to do our first song. A toast! A toast! Here's to the stork that brings cute babies, and here's to the swallow that brings no babies. <laughs> Feels kind of funny taking a drink after that particular drink. <laughs> Should it be this salty? <laughs> Caught you. All right, well, this is the three o'clock show, and this is the time of day when I do a special song. It's the only time of day I do this song. It's an audience participation song, and it entitles, uh, it, it means we've got to have a prop. Did, uh, that's right. It's a lovely little song entitled The Moose Song. <laughs> How many people know what the Moose Song is? Just a few of you. That's all right. I like newbies. Newbies. All right. So, what the Moose Song is, is in fact just a love song. But with animals. So, yeah. <laughs> Thus the R. 
So whenever I do the moose song and I get to the chorus, I like to say antlers up. And that's where we take out our antlers and place them. And I know, since nobody's heard of this song, that you didn't bring your store-bought antlers, but a lot of people actually born with them. So when I say antlers up, we take out our antlers thusly. We place them upon our heads and we sway and we sway. And then we'll say antlers down. All right, now, hopefully we're going to get 100% of you playing, but let's give it a little dry run. All right, I'm singing, I'm singing. I hate the chorus. I say antlers up. And sway, and sway, and antlers down. Oh, that's not bad. That was about 74% playing. Like I said, going to try to hit that 100%. Is this guitar turned on? Is, can you hear it? Is it coming out of there? i got to really turn my guitar on. Hold on. Oh, baby, you're the best. Oh, you're so hot. Oh, yeah. Oh, look okay. out. I didn't realize my guitar. I didn't know my guitar had a gender. Stop that. Down boy. Where are we? Oh, yes, the moose song. You're late. It's all right. I was passing out $100 bills earlier. You should have been here. It's fine. <laughs> Probably never do it again. And now, Lord's and ladies, I present to you the Moose Song. Oh, when I was a young lad, I used to like girls. I play with their goodies and fondle their curls. Till my girlfriend ran off with a sailor named Bruce. Well, you'd never be treated that way by a moose. Antlers up, and it's moose. Sway, moose. I like a moose. I've never had anything quite like a moose. I've had many lovers. My morals are loose. But I've never had anything quite like a moose. Antlers down. Still not about 80%. That's not bad. I want 100%. I may resort to peer pressure. We'll see. <laughs> Now when I'm in need of a very good lay, I'll go to the closet and get me some hay. <laughs> then I'll open my window and spread it around, uh, cause a moose always comes when there's hay on the ground. Antlers up, and it's moose, who moose? I like a moose, I've never had anything I like a moose. I've had many lovers, my morals are loose, but I've never had anything quite like Ellers now still hovering about 82%. Should I do the peer pressure? No peer pressure. Hey, hey! All the cool kids are doing it. Yeah? Well it works for drugs, it should be able to work for a stupid soul. <laughs> Gorillas are all right on a Saturday night. Lions and tigers, they put up a fight. And it's just not the same when you slam their caboose as a feeling you get when you're humping a moose. And there's a fattest moose. Who moose? I like a moose. I've never had anything I like a moose. I've had many lovers, my morals are loose, but I've never had anything quite like antlers that are always still some people not playing. Some people in the back not playing. I'll tell you what, let me make a deal since I'm keen to get 100%. How many people aren't playing? How many people are not? Uh, so the people who aren't playing, I'll be right there with you. Let's make a deal. If I can make you laugh with this next verse, and I don't mean a mere titter, I don't mean a slight chuckle, but an honest laugh that I have earned, will you put those antlers on for me? Yes? Everybody, yes? Do we have a deal? Yes. All right. I know. I understand. I've got to earn it. That's why I'm breaking out the big guns. All right. Here it is. I went out to the desert a moose for to find. I only found camels. I near lost my mind. Still a camel reminds me of moose just a bit. But a moose always swallows and camels just spit. Camels <laughs> up the moose. Yeah. I like a moose, I've never had anything I like a moose. I've had many lovers, my morals are loose, but I've never had anything quite like a moose. Now, oh, that's not bad, we had about 93.7% playing. Don't ask me how we got that small percent, that's all right. I think this last verse is on me. Now, when I was younger, I read dirty books. I'd play with myself while my little bed shook. Yet nothing else would make my eyes start to twinkle Like the feeling I get whacking off to Bullwinkle <laughs> oh, I like a moose, I've never had anything I like a moose I've had many lovers, my morals are loose But I've never had anything quite like a moose Antlers out, give yourself a hand <laughs> Let me take these off.
let me let me take these antlers off or I'll forget them. They'll be on the whole show. There we go. <laughs> Stay right there. It's now time for our next toast. And by the way, what's what's the uh, theme for this weekend? Celtic, Celtic weekend. Celtic. Uh, I, I accidentally have a Celtic toast. You're right, so raise one. A toast. A toast. A toast. Well, I think we can do a little bit better than that. A toast. A toast. A toast. To the Welsh. To the, right, to the Welsh, because in 1210, the Welsh invented the very first condom using the lower intestine of a sheep. Did you know that? Yes. 400 years later, the English refined that idea by actually removing it from the sheep first. <laughs> Why do the Welsh hate me so? Why don't we try a lovely little joke? All right, here's a lovely joke. It's a man, he walks into a bar, and he orders a drink. Bartender serves the man, downs it, slams the empty on the counter. Bartender says, hey, buddy, that'll be three fifty. Man says, sorry, sir, I don't have a penny to me name. Bartender says, come on now, I can't just be giving this stuff away. Man says, I know, and I'm very, very sorry. If you'll allow me, I think I can earn back the price of that drink in the form of entertainment. Bartender says, and how are you going to do that? Man says, well, sir, I can actually sing out of my asshole. <laughs> Bartender says, you know what? If you can do that, that might be worth the price of a drink. Man says, yes. He jumps up on the bar. He pulls his pants down. He bends over him. Suddenly, he shits all over the place. Oh, the bartender says, what the hell was that? The man says, I'm sorry. I was just clearing my throat. <laughs> One more bar I can't show my face. <laughs> And now this is a story of, a, of an older woman who's cruising the pubs. What do you call older women these days? There's a term for them. Cougars, that's right. A cougar. So this, this hot cougar, she's cruising the pubs, looking for somebody to pick up. She finds this very young man, and she entices him back to her place, and they knock back a few, and she suggests they fool around. Young man thinks it's a good idea, so she does see you. It's hard to say when you're this drunk. She said, she shall, she shall by the sea. No, she suggests... That's easy for you to say. You're, you're wearing stripes. Where was I? Oh, yeah. So she suggests that they try a 69. Well, this young man's very naive. He doesn't know what she's talking about. Really. But, hey, he goes, so what's 69? She goes, well, you know, that's where I put my head between your legs. You put your head between my legs. He doesn't have a clue, but he doesn't want to blow it. So he goes, oh, yeah, sure, 69, yeah. We do it all the time. So he brings, she brings him into the bedroom, takes off his clothes, throws him on the bed. She removes all of her clothing, jumps on top of him in the 69 position, and then suddenly, accidentally, cuts loose a tremendous fart. The young man says, well, what was that? Woman says, whoops, sorry, my mistake. Let's try that again. Once more, she climbs back into the 69 position, and once again, accidentally cuts loose a tremendous fart. The young man jumps up. He starts dressing. The woman says, where are you going? The young man says, lady, if you think I'm sticking around for 67 more of those, you're crazy. <laughs> I think that deserves its own toast. A toast! A toast! To 69! To 69! It's a kamikaze of sex. It's like if I'm going down, you're coming with me. <laughs> Time for an original song, or something that I introduced a couple of years ago. A beautiful little song entitled Body Bellas Bodacious Bordello. Doesn't that sound intriguing? Yes. That's right. Well, at Bellas, they specialize in whatever perversion you have, whatever kink you can come up with, they got you covered at Bellas. So let's go visit, shall we? Just outside of London, my virginity was undone in a whorehouse by the sea I chanced to find. Where all your predilections, your perversions, and prescriptions can be filled, my ladies, of a special kind. When it comes to me and body, Bella's place is more than naughty. It's a double dirty house of ill repute. All your sexual deviations will receive accommodations that make your one-eyed willy stand up and salute. Let's go. <laughs> We're headed down to Bella Bordello. It's the raunchiest whorehouse around. To Bonnie Bella's bodacious bordello, we go where the kinkiest parties are found. Well then now, Lords and ladies, are you a little curious? Would you like to meet some of the ladies that work at Bella's? <laughs> Let's see, who can we start with? Ah! Now, dearest Rosalina is a gal who wants to beat you with a studded leather panel you'll enjoy. 
she'll put a ball gag in your mouth, and then she'll venture on down south where she will spank you like a naughty little boy. You look like a naughty boy, sir. You like being spanked? Uh, let me tell you who I like. Try out well and down Miss Wanda. She's the girl I am most fond of. Her massive memories weigh 50 pounds apiece. You have never seen cassavas that are half as big as Wanda's. They'll cause the length of your wang doodle to increase. <laughs> We're heading down to Bella's Bordello. It's the raunchiest whorehouse around. To Bonnie Bella's Bodacious Bordello. We go where the kinkiest harlots are found. Now, sir, I noticed you didn't actually answer me. What's your favorite kink? Come on, you can, I won't tell anyone else, I promise. Oh, he's shy, he's shy. You know what, sir? Don't say another word. I know a footman when I see one. <laughs> and have I got the girl for you? Let's see. Oh, yes. Footsie Flo, well, she's a fun one. She'll make you come with just her bunions. She's our feet are what you're into. Flo's a shoeing. She'll use all of her ten toes to appease your fire hose and never once will ask you what the hell you're doing. Here we go. We're at it down to Bella's Bordello. It's their own she is for house around. The body Bella's Bodacious Bordello. We go where the kinkiest harlots are found. And now, by the way, these are not just local ladies. There's women from all around the world represented at Bella's. There's Frida, who's a German, and she's sure to get you squirming. She's a gal who really likes to say, Yavol! You can lick a sour broughton with her, nothing is rebotten. Your kielbasa should fit nicely in her hole. <laughs> can you tell I'm a fan of Frida's? But I gotta warn you about Sophia. I learned this the hard way. Sophia is from France, and she'll do a Frenchy dance. Yes, this stripper really has a lot of class. She'll bend down and give you head, then roll you over on the bed and ram a 12-inch stale baggage up your ass. <laughs> We're headed down to Bella's Bordello. It's the raunchiest whorehouse around. To Bonnie Bella's bodacious Bordello. We go where the kinkiest harlots are found. There's Rhonda, who's a plumper. We all know you want to hop her for Alicia. Bring her flowers and she'll give you golden showers. Fecal Farrah is a trooper. If you're looking for a pooper, Tug Antonio will be bragging how she milked your little dragon. Phew! Staggering home from Bellas, we were a group of tired fellas, but the smiles upon our faces said it all. So whenever you're in need of a place to spill your seed, go to Bella's and you're sure to have a ball. Let's go. We're headed down to Bella's Bordello. It's the raunchiest whorehouse around. To body Bella's bodacious Bordello. We go where the kinkiest harlots are found. Where the kinkiest harlots are found. Where the kinkiest harlots are found. Axel the Sock here with an exciting new CD, the best of Axel the Sock. 22 songs all on one album, some of my favorites and some of yours, including Bang Away Lulu. Body Bellas, Bodacious Bordello. It's the raunchiest whorehouse around. To Body Bellas, Bodacious Bordello, we go where the kinkiest harlots are found. Sing! Balls to your partner. The Ball of Valley Knoll. If you can't get laid in a renaissance fair, you can't get laid at all. The trouble with an orgy. The trouble with an orgy. With bodies wild, it's hard to know what's his or hers or mine. A B C D A B C song. I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. Get your antlers ready for the moose song. I like a moose. I never had anything quite like a moose. I've had many lovers. My morals are loose. But I never had anything quite like a moose. Laugh can be hard with a The Legend two of Two-Foot Willie. Willie. They all stop and stare at my bone. I 
I'm not all that fond of this big anaconda Cause no one will leave me, leave me alone Old King Cole was a old merry King old soul Cole. And a merry old soul was he He called for his wife in the middle of the night And he called for his bakers, one, two, three Butter up the buns, up the buns, of the baker's balls in the air, in the air, to the jugglers, fiddle diddle dee, fiddle dee, so the fiddlers, mighty fine men are we. There's no one here that can drink more beer than Axel the Salt, that's me! And there was Brown, up the old down, gun cow, up the whiskey on the floor. Booze, booze, a fireman cried as they came a knocking at the door. Who hey, don't let him in till it's all drunk up. Somebody shouted McIntyre. McIntyre! And we all got blue blind paralytic drunk when the old dun cow caught fire. One for the morning glory, two for the One for the morning dew. glory. Three for the man who will stand his round, and four for the love of you, me girl. Four for the love and of you. And here Axel's serious side with Sterling Forrest. Back to the sea. The city sky. I make my escape to open sea. Can't abide skyscraper tide. As I push ahead, it pulls at me. Fight the tide. Running over the, the hills, I loving under the sun. Silently showing. Not all. You also get pure inebriation. It's the Axel the Salt Show. Scotland's depraved. The Great Big Wheel. Captain's Wife's Lament. The Dance. Hairs of her icky dye dough. We shouldn't say vagina. So and of course, what compilation would be complete without you? Health to the company. My last, the last drink and be merry all out of one glass. So go to my Facebook page, Axel Assault, and pick up your copy of the best of Axel Assault today. Ha <laughs> ha! Why don't we have another test? We only got one song left, but it is a big song. You guys having a good time so far? Yeah. Raise them up. A toast! A toast! To virginity! Virginity! Now, virginity is like a soap bubble. One prick and it's gone. <laughs> oh, now, lords and ladies, listen, we do got also have one last joke for you. And it's a, it's a lovely joke. It's a little Johnny joke. Anybody familiar with little Johnny jokes? Hopefully you've not heard this one. Now, little Johnny is in math class one day, and his teacher calls on him to answer questions. She says, little Johnny, if there are five birds sitting on a fence, and you shoot one of them, how many birds are left? Little Johnny says, none, because the others fly away. The teacher says, well, you know, the answer was actually four, but I like the way you're thinking. <laughs> little Johnny says, teacher, teacher, I've got a question for you. If there are three ladies eating ice cream cones, and the first lady is biting her cone, and the second lady is licking her cone, and the third lady is sucking her cone. Which lady is married? <laughs> See, she's already nervous about answering this question. Yes, well, she says, I, I, I believe it would be the lady who is sucking her, her cone. Little Johnny says, no, it's the lady with the wedding ring on her finger, but I like the way you're thinking. <laughs> That's right, we've got to have one more. <laughs> Let's do something special. A toast! A toast! To the male G-spot! To the male G-spot! That's all well, I mean, come on, I, we already know, we already know that the women have a G-spot, right? We know that the women have a G-spot, theoretically. That's all, but did you know that men had a G-spot? Who knew that the men had a G-spot? Who knew? Not many people know. Tell us where that G-spot is located, sweetie. In the ass. No, it's not in the ass. <laughs> Did you tell my wife that? Because every night she goes a hunting. She's like, come on, Axel. <laughs> tonight's the night. It, it can be. It can be. 
It cannot be. It cannot be. Because <laughs> <laughs> Sophia, be. Sophia would have found it with that baguette, sweetie, if it was there. <laughs> no, now take notes because you might want to try this at home, kids. <laughs> the male G spot is located directly in the back of a woman's throat. <laughs> <laughs> for me. <laughs> well now, lords and ladies, before we do the final song, and like I said, it's a big song. I didn't do it last year and everybody went crazy because they really liked this one. Uh, let me just say you have been a wonderful audience. Blah, 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 blah. But, but that comes from the heart. <laughs> but at the end of the show, as always, I'll pass around my little hat. If you like to put something in it, please do anything. It's appreciated. Don't feel obligated. Don't go pissing off because I mentioned my hat. You're going to miss a good song. All monies this weekend collected will go to alcohol. Yeah. It's almost the end of the weekend, and I'm going to try to buy a keg. Should I get a keg of Guinness? Yeah. Or will it be a keg of Keystone Light? Oh. I don't want. I don't like Keystone Light, but it's all up to you, my friends. <laughs> do you like your buddy Axel, or do you want him to make me drink that shit? So, and at the end of the show, if you like what you've heard, come on up to the front. Look at this. I've been doing this for a while. I've got 18 different CDs. I've got box sets. I've got DVDs. I have my, and I forgot to put it up, but it's right here. On this very stage, two years ago, I recorded my 515 non, it's like my uncensored show, right? My filthy show is on here, uncensored. I'll be doing it again at 515. Earl, do not come here if you are easily offended, Earl. If you've been offended at all during this show, don't show up for that shit, Earl. <laughs> over the winter, I did. I published a book over the winter. It's a joke book. It's a song book. It's my memoirs, and it's got an actual CD inside with my original songs. Pick it up at the end of the show. Yes, I draw it. And the next time you're in the land of Facebook, look for my page. It's called Axel the Sot. Like my page and be rewarded on a daily basis with alcohol-related humor. Yes. Are we ready for the final song? Yeah. Well, lords and ladies, this last song is about a little town called Ballynor. Have you ever been to Ballynor? No. Now, we're probably not because it's a quiet little community. But once a year, they hold the world's biggest orgy, world's biggest party. <laughs> and everybody comes. <laughs> so join me at the ball of Ballynor. Four and twenty virgins came down from Inverness And when the ball was over there was four and twenty less <laughs> See! Balls to your partner, ass against the wall If you can't get laid at a medieval fair, you can't get laid at all Now you know I work here <laughs> Let's meet some of the guests at the ball of Valley Noir Well, the village blacksmith, he was there, his balls made out of brass and when they clang together, lightning shout out of his ass. <laughs> Sing! Balls to your partner, ass against the wall. If you can't get laid in a medieval bear, you can't get laid at all. Well, they were doing it on the sofa and doing it in the chair. And when they found a trampoline, they were doing it in mid-air. <laughs> Sing! Balls to your partner, Against the wall, if you can't get laid in a medieval fair, you can't get laid at all. La 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 la. Now you're a little quiet out there, and the only reason I even mention it is because within the structure of this song is a mystery verse. Ooh. A verse so vile and unsavory that if you're not prepared for it, believe me, you do not want to hear it. That's why sometimes I leave it in, sometimes I pull it out. <laughs> Yeah, we're not ready. I think we need a little more foreplay. So. Back to the guest list. Now the village butcher, he was there, a cleaver in his hand. And every time he turned around, he circumcised the band. <laughs> and then he'd say, keep the tip. Say, call to your partner, ask against the wall. If you can't get laid in a medieval fair, you can't get laid at all. La, 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 la. Well, the local harlot, she was there a lying on the floor, and every time she spread her legs, the vacuum shut the door. It's actually pretty filthy. Sing! Balls to your partner, ass against the wall, if you can't get laid at a medieval fair, you can't get laid at all. La 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 What do you think? I'll be ready for the mystery verse. Yeah! Some of you are ready. 
Some of you are not and require more foreplay. Oh, we'll try one more verse and I shall ask again. Now Pinocchio, well, he was there and quite a sight to see. The lady sat upon his face and shouted, lie to me. <laughs> Sing! Balls be a partner, ask against the wall. If you calculate it, a medieval fair, you calculate it all. La, 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 la. All right, here it is, the question that I had. Should I leave it in or should I pull it out? Just the ladies, just the ladies. Leave it in! I never get to hear a lady tell me that. All right, if we're going to do, do it, let me just stop the show for just a second and apologize deeply, sincerely, profusely, individually. Each and every, I'm so sorry for this next verse. All right? It shouldn't be in the show. You're going to get pissed off. I'm going to get in trouble. Will you at least forgive me in advance? Yes! It's only because you haven't heard it yet. But oh, we're going to do it. Lords and ladies, against my better judgment, the mystery verse! Now a pregnant woman. Hold on. <laughs> well, I know what's coming next. Let me just find out. Do we have any pregnant women in the audience? Any, oh, dear. <laughs> right up front. Well, I'll tell you what. This could work out good. Is this, is this the guy? Because i gotta, I got to find out. Right, so you can tell me if this is true. But we're going to do it. I'm going to dedicate this to you. Unless he's really going to kick my ass. In which case, it just means. Right, I'm not so nervous. You're like, come on, Axel. Just do it. But I, I guarantee you this. All right. I could screw around for another five minutes and finally, after I finally did, you'd be like, that was really worth it, dude. Or, but I'm not going to make you wait, lords and ladies. Here it is in all of its glory, dedicated to you. <laughs> the Mystery Verse! <laughs> now a pregnant woman, she was there. Oh, how her belly hung whenever you go down on her. <laughs> a hand would grab your tongue. <laughs> little Deadpool head. <laughs> Sir, is it true? <laughs> See? They stopped singing, that's never a good sign. See? Balls do you perk your ass against the wall If you calculate it a medieval fair, you calculate it all La 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 Ah, but all good things must come to an end now when the ball was over, everyone confessed the music was exquisite, but the doing was the best. Last chance, sing! Ball to your partner, pass against the wall. If you can't get laid in a medieval fair, you can't get laid in all. Sing, balls to your partner, pass against the wall. If you can't get laid at a medieval fair, you can't get laid at all. For a really frilly show, if you think this was dirty, so you can see that one. Take a moment as I walk out amongst you, put something in my hat, buy some of my crap, don't go away. The irate pirate show coming up in about 10 minutes. But have a lovely day at the Great Lakes Medieval Fair. Huzzah! Huzzah!